Hello and welcome to today's video which is a project vlog so this is the first installment my name is Anakin and I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and please leave me a comment so it is 19th of July today and I'm starting this new project that I've been thinking about for the last few days and I thought I would record it as a um, project vlog. I keep kind of starting project vlogs and then um, it drags on too long and I kind of lose interest in it or I get distracted by something else I have to cast them for a design for a magazine for example and put the project on hold then I forget that I'm supposed to be recording so I kind of I'm not very good with project vlogs but this is a relatively small ish project so I thought I would give it a go I am teaching a workshop this weekend on a Mobius uh, cow so Mobius um let me show you is um a loop with a twist in it hang on if I hold it that way around you might be able to see it loop with a twist in it and you cast on um, the Mobius cast on um, which on this little mini Mobius you can probably see it better actually the cast on is the purple bit and then the blue bit around the edge is the cast off um, and I've been knitting a lot of Mobius components in the last week i've knitted this little one knitted another little one i've knitted this and oh, i knitted this over the weekend um this workshop was one that was originally supposed to be taught by somebody else who had to uh cancel so i've kind of taken it over on a very short notice and so i've been very immersed in mobius's recently i experimented with mobius rings mobius cowls quite a few years ago when I first started designing but um, I think I designed a couple maybe I can't remember but I never really took it any further so I've been really in, in, into Mobius knitting I've also been really into uh, brioche knitting lately and I've been thinking wondering whether I can um, combine the two and do a brioche Mobius cow so I've been doing a bit of swatching um, and I thought maybe I'd just give it a go so I'll tell you what my plans are so this evening I swatched again and I decided on a design I'm not using these two yarns but I'm using the gray yarn and then I just picked another yarn that's a similar way to what I'm knitting with because I didn't want to waste the yarn I'm knitting with so that's the right side um that's what should be the kind of right side of the fabric I actually prefer that side better because I think the uh, lavender stands up more but I'm not using the lavender so I'm not worried about that I mainly just wanted to swatch this stitch pattern and make sure I liked it and get attention um, reading so I could cast on the yarn I'm actually going to use um, is a yarn that I bought last year and I I had kind of forgotten I had it because it comes in this little box I kind of just put it on my shelf and forgotten about it and I was looking for a YouTube video recently and I happened to come across this I don't know I just saw it flash by in a video or something so I pulled it out and I thought I need to use this and I've decided it's perfect for this project so this is a mini skein set from Yarn Unique I'll put all the links below and it's the Yak Sock um which is 70 percent superwash merino 20 percent yak and 10 percent nylon yak is has like a natural brownie color i think um so it gives you very kind of muted colors there is actually one color missing because i have um i wound that earlier this evening uh we are in a heat wave at the moment today i think was the hottest day in many parts of the country it's not been as hot down here where i live uh, it was hotter here yesterday we had some thunderstorms this morning but we are in a heat wave at the moment so that's the it's looking a little bit brighter on this on the screen than it is um in real life um so that one kind of goes there okay so that's the colors i'm planning to use um and then i'm going to actually use it with a gray um just take this out of my project bag it's gotten caught on something <laughs> so i'm going to use it with this gray which is lang merino 200 
um, because it's a similar thickness, it's got similar meterage to the blue yarn, to the uh, rainbow collection. Um, and I thought grey goes with most things, so I thought grey would be a good background colour and then the rainbow minis will form the main colour. So I've cast on for the Mobius and I've knitted one round and then I'm doing the first um, brioche round at the moment. I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to work as a brioche. I've done like a little tiny swatch but not like a proper swatch really so I don't know whether it's really going to work or not but I thought it was worth a go. Um, so we'll see. So I will keep you updated um, as I work through this project. Whether it will work or not, we'll see, but I'm going to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of an update of my Mobius. I wasn't very happy to start with. Um, first few rounds didn't look very good so I actually ripped it out and cast on using smaller needles and um, slightly fewer stitches and I've now done 14 rows and I'm really happy with it. It looks fantastic. Really pleased with it. Um, I'd hoped I would get a whole repeat out of one mini skein, but I haven't. I've got 14 rows and I've got about half a gram left, I think. So I'm just about to wind the second mini skein and start joining in that. But I think it looks really good. Let's flip it over, see what it looks like on this side. So I have knitted half of the stitches onto a new needle so I could try it on just to see how big it is. Um, difficult to see actually how it fits but I do quite like it. I was a little bit worried that it might be a little bit too small because I originally cast on more stitches on a slightly bigger needle then I went down a needle size from 4mm to 3.75mm and then I also cast on slightly few stitches because I was worried. That it was going too big but i don't think it would have been but i'm happy with this size obviously it's not that easy to try it on when it's still on the needles but let me take it off and i'll show you what it looks like okay so it is split between two needles now because i was knitting half of it onto a new needle so i could try it on and i am on the third color so i'm changing colors every 10 rows um what i didn't really think about when i started was that my 100 gram mini skeins and 100 grams in the grey is going to be way too much. So I probably only want like one more colour I think after this. I think I've got like three, four more rounds before I change colour again. And I think if I add more than one more colour, maybe two, it's going to be too, um, too tall basically. So I'm kind of wishing I had um thought about that before i started and started from that end of the um gradient and possibly only done those three and that green i really like that green I'm not in love with these two colors and i'm not in love with the orange color I'm not a huge fan of orange although this is quite subtle so what i'm thinking about doing after this color i'm thinking about skipping the orange and going to the pink I was also thinking because at some point I'm going to run out of grey. So what I was thinking was to do the last colour I'm doing with two of these together. Because that would give me quite a nice edging um, both on the top and the bottom. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. But I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't decided. But yeah, very, very pleased with this so far. I'm enjoying it. I like the fact that because this is the castle and I like the fact that you can see the colours on that side. That's like the main 
side if you like and then grey here with the colours in the background so I really like that and I've been working on this for a week now I think um, and I'm hoping I may be able to finish it this weekend when we're away for um, the summer wool show but we'll see depends on how much knitting time I have This is the yarn I want to use for the second version of the Brioche Mobius. It is Monoskull Uruguay Fino in a mini skein set, which comes in this nice fun little box. So this is the Sybil set, which is uh, FM16 Sybil, that's the colorway. And it consists of 444, 424, 443, 431 and 425. That's the five individual colorways. So all these colorways are available individually as well from Manos or Uruguay. That one I've used for simplicity. This one I have and I'm planning to use it for something because I love that color. The others I haven't used yet. Um, so let's have a look at these. So what I need to decide before I cast on is what order I'm going to use them in. So I'm going to use two and two together I think so for the first version I did a background color and which was a solid color and then I did a skein from the mini skein set and I changed every 10 rounds for this one and then for the last 10 rounds I used two skeins from the mini skein set uh, for the first version so for this version, I'm only going to use this mini skein set. The weight of the original version is 115 grams, and this is only 100 grams. But this yarn is, has slightly better meterage, so I'm hoping I can make it out of um, out of this. I need to work it out as I go along. I've actually made the circumference slightly smaller because it's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. So I need to decide what to do with this. So which colors I'm going to use with which, and then. I'm going to use two and two together and then the last 10 rows I'm going to just use one color I think or I may do say for example I start with these two and then I take that one out and add in that one for 10 rows and I take that one out and add in that one for 10 rows and I take that one out and add in that one for example um, that's what I need to decide really so um, Things do look different when you actually nip with them than when you just lay them next to each other. But I like those two together. I like those two together. I like those two together. I don't like those two together, but I do like those two together. I'm not that keen on those two together. So I am, those are my favorites. And that one, those three are probably my favorites actually. Um, I wouldn't mind swapping those two out for something else, but they're in the set, but these are my favorites. So I think I'm going to start with those two, then swap that one out for that one, then swap that one out for that one, then swap that one out for that one. I think I need to write these this down to make sure I work it out correctly. Uh, but yeah, good decisions to make. It's not that easy. Um, quite often you can't really tell what it looks like till you've actually started knitting it. So I'm hoping to cast on in the next few days just to um, make sure I'm happy with it. 
Um, I was planning to knit this when I go to Norway, which is still um, a week and five days away. It's Monday today and I'm going next Friday. So I have a while. I would like to really get started on it before I go, but I am working on something for a deadline, which I have to finish before I go. So this is not my priority, but I thought if I finish my daily kind of quota of the deadline project I might you know do half an hour of this in the evening or something so that's why I'm keen to get started on it um, but I mainly want to knit on it while I'm away So I have blocked my cow, should have probably filmed this downstairs because it would be easier to see but I just realised I haven't trimmed any of these ends so we will just trim those. I always worry when I trim them I'm going to actually cut my knitting and I'm cutting these quite close. I do wish I'd use, started with the pink. Um, I thought leaving the pink to last would make it look more dominant but I think starting with it would have made it look more dominant but let me just put this on the pattern is with my tech editor as I'm filming this I've just gone through the first round of edits so what happens is I send the pattern off to my tech editor she reads through it and checks everything and makes any changes or makes notes and then sends it back to me and then I go through those and I make the, those changes in the pattern and then I send it back to her and then she checks that and then she sends it back to me and then it pings back and forth a few times so I've just sent the second version back to her um I am hopefully we will get this ready for Yarndale so yeah I think I like it but I don't know I can see the pink I wonder when I should have put the pink in the middle obviously it depends on exactly how you wear it but that's probably how I would put it on if I was putting it on in front of a mirror if you fling it on when you're out and about it might not end up looking that good but that's the second version so this version was knitted using a set of mini skeins from Manos del Uruguay uh, Fino um, this set they do quite a few other sets as well and I don't know whether this video will be out before Yarndale or after Yarndale um, if I have time to edit it before Yarndale and I can get the pattern up before Yarndale then I might release this video if I can't then it'll be after Yarndale but I've ordered several mini skein sets in different colours for Yarndale hoping I will have this pattern ready um, if I don't then they'll be on the website afterwards so there are a range of different mini skein sets obviously if you have mini skeins that you want to use you could also use two solid colors so i used that pink one there let me just grab a couple of color options for you okay so just based on some of the colors that you know i have in stock at the moment um let me put these down somewhere so i don't get them all so these two are actually part of this set um that one is called chemise and that's the one that's here, one of the colours here and here. So I've used so that's part of the set, and that is the pink one in this set. So you could do these two together. If you wanted a solid colour, you could do these two together. It only takes a hundred grams. If you wanted to use solid colours and you bought two skeins, you would have enough to make two basically, which you may or may not want to do, but you could always use the leftover for something else. Those two would really really nice together. Um I also have this correct pale grey light grey which I think looks really good with that I like grey and pink together it also look good with that grey would also look good with that I think and with the darker grey this is called mourning as in mourning someone who's passed away not mourning as in the beginning of the day it's mourning with a m-o-u-r-n-i-n-g so mourning a dead person um so this would look good together um, what else? We got this really lovely blue that would look good with that one. Um, this is that's rose water. That's the one I used for my enchanted shawl. So those look good together. Rose water would also look good with chemise, I think. 
those would look really good together also got this cream color or ivory color that would look good with that one or that one purple the purple would look good with the gray the purple is called violets that would look good with the gray so there are lots of different colors color options available if you fancied a solid color just going to drop those down there so this is what the original of the fina version looked like so this is what the fina version looks like and i really like this and i'll probably mainly keep this for display purposes when i do shows and workshops and things um i teach mobius um a mobius cow as a workshop um i also teach brioche i'm not sure about combining the two into an in-person workshop I've only taught a Mobius workshop once and I had about eight people, but I think only six did the workshop. It was at the knitting hotel where people are there for like a long weekend of a knitting retreat. So sometimes people choose not to do the workshop. So I it took us most of the morning, I think, to actually do the cast on. Um, so I don't know whether I would want to teach the Mobius cast on and brioche in one workshop I think it'd be okay for people who'd already done a bit of brioche what I am thinking about doing is creating an online workshop um not an online course but just a standalone workshop probably kind of three sessions the first one where we do the cast on and then where we do some basic um brioche or where I teach you the teach the brioche stitches that are required for this and then the final one where we put it all together and then maybe like an optional answer question and answer session after that so maybe three or four sessions a couple hours each so it'd be like a mini course um but it would be a live one with me on zoom rather than a pre-recorded course um so i'm thinking about that but i have to see what's happening in october because i'm so busy i do have a tutorial for the mobius cast on which is linked in the pattern it's not available uh on youtube you need the link to be able to watch it is it set as a private or something on youtube so the link is in the pattern um so people who buy the pattern can access the mobius cast on tutorial but i haven't made it available yet i may do in the future so if you're watching this later it may be available but at the time of filming this it's not available so yeah i really like this it feels quite warm actually the fino is um i think it's 70 percent merino yeah 70 percent merino wool 30 percent silk it's a single ply yarn and it feels really lovely and soft so that's the fino version which is quite bright and colorful so the cast on is in the middle and then it goes in both directions um so yeah i'm really pleased with it i'm just looking at the colors in the screen really really happy with it uh and then the original version that i knitted so i used a gray from Lang Marina 200. This is actually the Lang Marina 120, but the grey is about the same, I think. I just don't have a 200 ball here. Um, so that kind of grey with this set of mini skeins from uh, Yarn Unique. It's the mini skein collection, rain... No, hang on. It's mini skein collection, Yak Sock Rainbows. Um, it came with seven mini skeins, uh, and I used five of them. So there were two that I didn't use at all. Those two. Kind of wish I'd used that one. Uh, not that one. Kind of wish I'd used that one because I like that one. And the other ones I got quite a bit left of it over because I used um, the grey as the contrast colour and these as the main colour. Apart from the last um, nine rows, I think it is, round, nine rounds, where I used uh, two colours from the mini skein set these two colors as one as the contrast and one as the main color um i really like these colors i think this will be the version that i will be wearing this winter and the other one will be the version that i will keep for display and workshops and things like that this one is actually slightly bigger i decided this one's a little bit too big and i wanted it slightly smaller and this one also used a little bit more yarn uh it's about 114 grams i think so i actually cast on slightly few stitches just like i think one repeat um so the pattern reflects this one um this is the size that's in the pattern so this will be my kind of personal 
one that I will wear because the yarn was from my personal stash if you like so this one is slightly bigger but I really like it and I love these colours um, and I got that mini skein set either earlier this year or last year I can't remember so I'm glad I managed to use it for something um, I don't know what to do with the last two mini skeins but I think I'll just add it to my mini skein basket there we go so that's what that version looks like um so they're quite different looking i will photograph both of them for the pattern and uh, this one actually goes quite nicely with my bright green t-shirt as well uh, i'll full photograph on both of them for the pattern the pattern includes the yarn details of both this one and this one but this is the one that i will use for display at um, shows and things because i sell this yarn uh, i don't tend to display anything at shows that i don't sell the yarn for so but this one I really really like um these colors are probably more my colors i think um so hopefully you'll see me wearing this a lot this winter i do like wearing cows um because they fit quite nicely under your coat and things so i will um link the pattern below it'll be available on both ravelry and payhip so when this video is live the pattern is available as well if you've never done the Mobius before, they are magical, they're amazing. So as I said, the pattern includes the link to my Mobius cast on tutorial, which is the easiest way to get hang of the tutorial. It was the one that was originally publicized by Kat Bordy. Uh, and there is a very old tutorial with Kat on YouTube. So if you um, don't want to buy the pattern, but you're curious about the Mobius cast on, just Google Mobius cast on Kat Bordy. And if I decide to make mine public, I will link it below this video. Um, I kind of created it for the workshop. I need to have another look at it and see how easy it is to understand because I did create it for this workshop I taught earlier this summer. So I hope you've enjoyed this little project vlog. I filmed more of the first of the when I knitted this one than this one, partly because I knitted, knitted most of this one while I was in Norway. Um, and it was easier to film this one when I was at home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and uh leave me a comment and let me know what you think do you fancy trying a mobius brioche cow um have you done mobius custom before have you done brioche before if you've done either of those two things then you'll be fine with this um would you fancy a workshop would you be interested in a workshop either in person if you live in England or in the southwest of England or anywhere where I teach or would you be interested in an online workshop um let me know would you you would you prefer a course like a pre-recorded course that you could just do in your own time or would you prefer a live course where we meet up on zoom and do the lessons together let me know what you think um and I will see what what I can come up with later this autumn Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.